All righty. Uh, welcome to World of Horror. This is a uh, a newly released uh, sort of point and click adventure roguelike about uh, living in the 1980s in Japan as uh, the titular world of horror surrounds you. Um, it draws a lot of inspiration from Junji Ito's manga, as well as Lovecraftian horror, and sort of that kind of vibe of uh, cosmic horror um, through the lens of 1980s uh, Japanese horror manga. Uh, it is a very stylish game. It's been in early access for a really long time, but uh, everyone wanted to see it, so we're playing it. Uh, it finally released, so I think that's that's pretty good for us. However, I do have something up my sleeve here for everyone. So we're going to use this color palette. And we are going to customize our playthrough. Uh, we're just going to play just regular, like a regular campaign. Not going to mess with anything. It's whatever. We're gonna hit continue. One last thing, a tall man left a suitcase for you this morning. He said you will know the password. I wonder what could it mean? City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new, unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stop, stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. And now we get to pick a character, right? These are all the base characters, right? There's Kyrie, Minami, Aiko Takahashi, Mizuki Hamasaki, and uh, Tagawa Koji. Uh, at least those are the ones we have unlocked. But you'll notice there's a mysterious one right here. I wonder who that is. Oh, look at that. That's Sandals Bueller. <laughs> That's my tabletop character from Cape Escape. Uh, so we have, we've got, sa we've got Sandals here. Uh, Sandals is gonna solve all of the mysteries in Shiokawa, Japan. So, uh, an enthusiastic ferret in search of a life-changing event. Hopefully vast knowledge of media and horror stories will give him an edge against the unknown. Uh, so yeah, we got, we got Sandals here in World of Horror. Uh, so as we can see, he has a few different uh, benefits. He's got a lot of knowledge, three extra knowledge. Questionable fashion choices give him negative charisma, but extra pockets, <laughs> which is uh, which is very accurate. It's very accurate to uh, to the campaign. So let's go ahead and hit continue. So I'm not really touching anything. I don't know if playing this way is gonna change. Let's see. We'll do this. Uh, we'll, we'll play on a, a low difficulty to start so that I understand the game. So this is going to be a roguelike. So there's like lots of different ways to play, um, etc. We'll just play on the, the earliest difficulty so far. And then if we if we want to continue, we can uh, move up and kind of fix things and, and change stuff. But uh, yeah, this is Sandals. So there is a caveat to playing as a custom character. From what I understand, you can't save the game or like return to a playthrough uh, playing as a custom character. You just have to play through a whole run in one sitting. So we'll see how far we get, right? All right, this is classic mode. Old gods are awakening. Your only chance of survival is solving five different mysteries. The end of the world is at hand. A different additional mode to unlock as you progress. Endless mode, we don't want to play. And then scenario mode is not actually out yet, so we can't play that version. So... Let's do this. Uh, Demon Skunk says, is the Sandals mod publicly available? Not yet. But stay tuned for that, because uh, 
because the person who made it, uh, our beloved Crimson Rabbit, uh, he is he is uh, apparently in talks with the developer to get some more features enabled for mods in the future, uh, in hopes of making an entire conversion for Cape Escape in the world of Horror Engine. So no promises that that will happen, but it's been talked about and discussed. But there are a few features in the game that are not available yet to modding. Um, there, so you can't add certain scenarios or add different things. So uh, maybe once that is enabled, we'll see it more. But uh, I'll talk with him about possibly getting it released after the playthrough, at least the sandals mod. Somewhere, a group of people gathers, trying to awaken their master. All right, so we get to choose which uh, which bosses to fight. So the terrible spider god, Kathak Atarasu, is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. That doesn't seem, that's not very sandals. Ethotu, the Devouring Fire. This supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue, has been recently discovered and is currently waiting in the Museum of Oo for its long-awaited premiere. <sighs> Athelazith, the Towering Eye. This seems pretty Cape Escape coded. Uh, the Mad God favors astronomers and magicians, granting them its gift of power that unknowingly brings Athulazith's bloated body closer and closer to Earth. And then there's Goizo, the thing forsaken by God. Banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through reflective glass. The glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of a real nightmare. I think we're gonna go with Athulazith, the towering eye. The Missing Stars. The media has been reporting about various people with seemingly supernatural skills. Any connection with the news about stars disappearing from the night sky? So Old God's Rule, casting spells raises doom instead of its normal cost. Backstory, World of Horror, character exclusive perk cards only. And look at that, we're dumped right into the game. We got our backpack, uh, allows two additional inventory slots. We got library notes, uh, gain random spell, lose one to two reason if we want to use that. Uh, and we got our little sandals. Look at it, it's our boy. Uh, we, got, we got our boy sandals. You could fit a lot in the backpack. They cover a few dusty and boring books. Uh, so yeah. We got a sandals. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, also, mysteriously, right away, we can go to a lighthouse. The ominous lighthouse has been closed down for longer than you can remember. Multiple padlocks prevent you from entering the building. You need five keys. So let's leave the lighthouse, go to our home. You check your mailbox, it's empty. And look, it's our boy, it's our sandals. <laughs> it makes me so happy to see him. You are not currently investigating any weird mystery. Recent newspaper clippings and notes collected in the next room should point you in the right direction. Oh, we got more library notes from opening a drawer. Is there anything else I can open? Oop, move the curtain. It's a nice day outside. That's nice. Is there anything else I can interact with? Just the door. Start a new mystery. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Uh, and look at this, he's drinking a little moxie. <laughs> Beautiful sprite art. Uh, 
as always, by our beloved Crimson Rabbit. Uh, so big, big round of applause for Crim for for getting this set up for us. He was working on it for a while. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a chill vibes hangout experience, as Hex said. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be good. Ignore the fact that it says 1984. Uh, this clearly takes place in 2019. All right. Endings discovered. Rotten report of rancid ramen. How do I already have two endings discovered? And then two here for the freaky feature of found footage. That's interesting. I did play this game once way back when it first came out uh, because someone gifted it to me in early access and I didn't realize it was in early access. But I don't, I think I put literally 45 minutes into it. So I don't think that I don't think I ever beat it. I don't think I got any <laughs> endings, so it's kind of interesting that there are some here. So clearly Sandals is just a genius. All right. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. What do we think? Freaky feature of found footage? I feel like Sandals, Sandals would go for the found footage. And I go back to my other room. A feeling of paranoia and discomfort is almost palpable in the air. Huh. That's interesting. I am quickly just editing something. I'm taking notes really quickly just to make sure I know what I'm looking for. Okay. All right, so we have these four. I'm just making notes which ones were here uh, and which ones it says that I've finished because I don't want to uh, double up too much. But All right, let's do a freaky feature of found footage. This is something that's very sandal score. Freaky feature of found footage. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends to the nearby forest, or legends of the nearby forest. Now, on the first anniversary of their disappearance, a suspicious man has started asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he, and what did the students discover out there? That's pretty pog. Uh... If it per is my seed. Oh, interesting. The the code on the um on the the briefcase is what determines uh, the seed for the game. So that's kind of neat. I just realized I'm still connected to my work VPN. That was weird. Uh, <laughs> turn that off real quick. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's investigate this mystery. You start a new mystery. Freaky feature of found footage. You can't investigate your home? What? Travel to school. Investigate the mansion location twice to complete this quest. All right. Let's investigate the mansion. <gasps> Look at his little walk cycle. That's so cute. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk uh, and has only two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. Search the room. There's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use the one item you do find. All right, we resolve the event. Now what? Do we just go to the mansion again? Ah, he's so cute. Bug OS says, your theme looks so cool. Love the clean Windows 90 uh, look. Thank you so much. Uh, I uh, I like my theme too. <laughs> as you glance around, you notice that more and more people are wearing strange masks, unlike anything you've ever seen before. As you turn to your friends for reassurance, you notice that some, of, some also wear these eerie masks. Their voices sound muffled and distorted, and you can't shake off the feeling that they're not quite themselves. The hair on the back of your neck stands on end and you realize something is terribly wrong. They're preparing for something. You realize that you need to act fast if you want to have any chance of survival. Minus two funds. Well, thankfully, Sandals is pretty wealthy, so... 
A sense of dread creeps over you and the mass people are swarming through the store, filling their carts with food and survival equipment. You notice the goods prices have already skyrocketed. The legends say the witch was buried alive for kidnapping and murdering two children. It points you in a specific direction, potentially saving you some time. Cool. Okay. So now we, we have part of a... We've done part of the the thing. Let's see. Can I go back to my my own house or no? Do we just uh Now what? Travel to home. You can't investigate your own home. How do I get out of this then? I want to see Look, he's a giant viewer. That's not good. Um all right. So what do we want to do then? Recruit allies, learn gossip. Let's do that. Who is this? Who would Sandals ask? Forced to help me? Just take out a knife? You're coming with. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see. Equip. All right. Equip the backpack. Gave me some more item slots. That's good. We have one spell. How do I use this? Use. Void or Kinpa ritual. Ignore the current event and instantly investigate a random other world location. Cost three reason. Hmm. When your allies die, a random stack gets raised. That seems useful, so it would be very good to bring someone with us, I think. You're always such a kidder. Sorry, I don't have time for games. Give me a break. Taru is reading a horror manga about spirals. They seem relaxed. Oh, they're reading Uzumaki. Kaede is... Kaede, that's an interesting name for a man. I think it is unisex, but I've never really heard it for a guy. Uh, they look like heads. They look fine. Hikaru is reading a horror manga about spirals. Everyone's reading Uzumaki. I can equip the broken bottle. So Sandals is wearing a broken bo is using a broken bottle. How did you do on your English exam? Recently, the tap water in my entire neighborhood started tasting weird, almost like It's been so hard to get any sleep lately. All right. So I have 4 experience. I don't want to spend any of that. We'll just leave. Wait, which story? Investigate the mansion twice to complete this quest. Didn't I already complete it? How do I pick up a new quest? Your friend has asked you to meet them at a certain secluded location. Getting there, you find a telescope with a note signed by your friend. The note tells you to look through the telescope. You don't see anything at first, then you notice it. The bloated body of Athulazith is getting closer. threat level all right rest you swallow the painkillers your fo you phone your best friend to talk about unrelated stuff three stamina time flies by so fast you repair yourself to leave and continue your long investigation plus two doom so wait how do I go back home then I'm confused Because I finished the this one, right? Study the current mystery. Many of the books you find here were donated after the accident at the university building. Make notes, sure. You decide to make some notes about subjects that could be relevant in this case. Hopefully all your work won't go to waste. But I thought in order to solve the mystery, we had to already... Um, we had to do different things. I thought I thought we had to pick different mysteries we did, and it said if I just had to investigate the mansion twice to complete this quest. So did I not investigate it properly? Let's investigate the school. 
You enter the art workshop. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. Check out the masks. One mask looks similar to the design you once saw in an occult book. You decide to take it with you. Resolve the event. Ritual mask. Can I equip it? Oh, I, I can either have the backpack or the ritual mask. What does it do? Small chance of ignoring reason loss in combat. That's not that useful. Note to mention a village not far from your town, but you decide to take the bus. Getting closer, you can't help but notice a large number of trees have suddenly died. What happened here? Okay, so now it's telling me... It's telling me I should go to different locations. I get it. Why is it telling me... Why is it circling downtown? If there is a... Uh, Oh, he's got a spooky mask on the sprite. I didn't even notice. Kaw pointed it out. That's really cool. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. So am I supposed to go downtown or do I want to go to the village? You had no idea what the funeral you've been invited to would end with the guests slashing their hands to feed the deceased with their blood. You stay at the back, shocked by how grotesque it is. Suddenly, the guests turn their heads to you. It's your turn. Follow the awful tradition. This is what sandals would do. As gruesome as it is, it's still a tradition. However, you can't shake the feeling that the deceased smiled slightly as you carefully cut your hand. Do I have to go downtown? They're kind of fumbling through it as I learn the mechanics. People point at and talk about a man on the other side of the street. He looks confused, muttering to himself while occasionally touching a festering wound on his cheek. You stop in your tracks and listen to the man's cursed incantation, minus two reason, gain a spell. Grow teeth? <laughs> Adds a new combat action bite until the end of this mystery. Oh, took two stamina. I get fangs. That's pretty cool. You cough up blood in something else. Go to the village. An old priest is performing a ritual to appease a local demon imprisoned underground. You're invited to join them. Uh, participate in the ritual. Your knowledge, knowledge check success. You've read about the ritual following the intricate pattern of steps, bows, and clasps, and claps, or steps, bows, and claps isn't a problem for you. Once the ritual ends, the priest thanks you and hands over an item. <gasps> I got a holy candle, plus two reason, plus one luck while held in the inventory. That's pretty good. Looking back one last time, you continue deeper into the woods. Click a square to explore it. Oh, neat. Okay. So now we're we're doing the rest of the quest. I get it. I'm following. He's so cute. Look at him. You have a feeling that you're being watched. And when you hear a branch snapping, you quickly turn around. There is someone standing in the trees just a few meters away. Confront the person. Luck check success. It's just a creepy scarecrow. Relieved, you decide to leave the area just in case. Trees overhead block the sunlight, you begin to feel gloomy. What you thought was just a discarded pile of clothes suddenly moves. As it stands up, a cloud of white powder is released into the air. <gasps> Creepy fungus, we got a combat sequence. Kinoko gatherer, mushroom gatherer. All right. Oh, okay, I can do different sequences. Bite. Attack without a weapon, three damage. Broken bottle. This is faster, I think. Teeth, teeth, teeth. Turn two begins. He has 15 HP. Oh, we almost killed him. He stabbed me with a knife! How dare you! We beat the Kinoko Gatherer. Resolve combat. Sandals can do it. I believe in him. 
While wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees, and by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? I think so. You can't tell what the strange symbols mean. Wandering aimlessly in this forest, it will take some time before you pick up the trail again. All right, we're over our doom quota for this mission, so we'll have to succeed another one really quickly. In the forest, you hear faint whimpering in the distance. When you find it, you discover a wild dog caught by its hind leg in a bear trap. The, growl, the dog growls menacingly when you get closer. Hey, it's that dog. You free the injured dog. Thankfully, the animal follows you. Hey, it's that dog. We got a puppy. That's Jet. The suspicious group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. They're enacting some kind of ritual in a clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is large rock. Attempt to climb it. Strength check failure. Oh no, sandals. You fall down and injure yourself. Luckily, you manage to limp away unnoticed. Our little boy. A rumored house, witch house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointed at the large hole in the ground. On the table next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. Then you hear a curious sound coming from the hole. Oh boy. What would Sandals do? What do we think Sandals would do? I think, let's see. I'm trying to think. He is very genre savvy and he was able to survive Cape Escape. So I don't know if he would peek inside with the cassettes right there, given that clearly they found something. But he also is more curious about the horror than he is about the cassette tapes. So peeking inside, you kneel down and lean forward to see what's inside the hole. It takes a while to process what you're looking at. It's a gigantic eye staring right at you. Hypnotized, you continue to lean in, feeling weaker and weaker as a gargantuan beast lures you in. At the very last moment, the suspicious tall man grabs you by the collar. He explains he is part of a cult protecting the house and the mysterious entity below it. You've got a bigger purpose than to die here, he says before knocking you out. You wake up a few hours later on a bus heading back to your town. Freaky found footage, ending B, rewards for solving this. Forest is restless, I. Knowledge is key, plus 30 experience. Uh, thorough investigation, 15 experience. There's still hope, 5% doom, time passes one day. Hey, and now we're under our uh, quota. So in order to pass this, uh, we need to make sure that we stay under 20% doom for each of the five mysteries. Camp dog, plus one additional inventory slot. Okay, that's cool. Nice. Woof woof. Talk. Camp dog barks knowingly. Uh. Oh. Fetid fumes, the air feels heavy, making it hard to believe. I didn't mean to click that if it was gonna do something spooky, but that was pretty cool, right? That's our, go to our home. Inside your mailbox, you find a small key. What is it doing here? Take the key. There's our boy again, our beautiful boy. I love him so much. No custom mysteries found. So we don't have any custom mysteries yet. Um, this is sort of the thing that um, that w we wanted to try and figure out how to do and like have better things uh, for. We wanted to get custom items and different custom things that you that just are currently aren't moddable before we do a cape escape conversion. But uh, it should be. A, available so wait classic versus toaster oh he made me a toaster mod <laughs> that's cute look at that i'm in the game now too bad wolf is raiding with a party of seven thank you so much bad wolf look at this it's me but i think we all know i would probably die if uh, you have, have you even thinking about a little eggplant, let's look at this really quick just to see. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, hold on. How do I do it? Do I get a different outfit? No. It appears it's just in the uh, in one of the the things so well but that's pretty cool that's a cool little easter egg i didn't know he did that 
All right, back to sandals. Ah, oh, what a gift. All right, I think we just, oh, what does taking a bath do? Clean yourself up, sandals, you stinky. The shower will help you calm down and wonders for your sore muscles. What temperatures should you set it to? Hot water, extra stamina, warm water, cold water. Oh, I need stamina, not, not reason. Start a new mystery. All right, let's look at these. Thaumaturgy teacher, rotten report of rancid ramen, bloody brief on a beckoning bulletin. I guess we're gonna have to do these. I don't remember doing any of these, so I wonder if, if the mod just marks some things as finished. Uh, bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. Actually, let's do ramen. Let's do the ramen one, just get it done. <clears throat> Rotten Report of Rancid Ramen. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves with dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You are determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? The flesh of the gods themselves? Let's investigate this mystery. All right. Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. The food critic has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His description makes your stomach churn. Rishan says, don't know if it's on my end or a stream compression issue, but it's really hard to see what images when but what images when buttons are while you're mousing over them, including the character portrait. I think it's just a, uh, it's probably just a stream compression thing on Twitch or YouTube side. All right, let's investigate the apartments. Food critic has a manic look as he describes a ramen. His description makes your stomach churn. Bye, bad wolf. Thanks so much for showing up. Thanks for raiding. All right, wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of sodas inside, but you really could use a drink. Get the most expensive one. Taste seems a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyway. It's Moxie. <laughs> you can't. You can see the restaurant through the staircase's window. Through the staircase's window. That's kind of weird. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks enter nor leave. Wait, discard two item cards to. Uh, Cool, to get the dumpster dive. You sneak into the alley in the dead of the night, gagging, you look through the restaurant's garbage. It's all vile pulp, though a few chunks of meat look like promising samples. Smelly meat. Disgusting. We already have the, the cards, so we have the spells, and I don't want to use the spells too much, so. Let's investigate the apartments again. The telephone sounds, and multiple voices are too loud for you to ignore. When you enter the apartment, everything turns silent. Oh no, not the gossip junkie. Clear the sequence. There we go. She has fifteen HP. Turn three begins. How is she still alive? Oh no. There we go. To gain a new level, press the flashing button. Okay. You've advanced the next level. Choose one perk and one stat upgrade. Okay. 
Um, perception. Stamina. Wait, no. Per perception. Do I not get... Oh, these are the perks. Folklore studies. Leadership, outdoorsman. Nah, we'll do this one. We'll do this one for sure. Uh, let's see, actually. What do I need? Perception 7, knowledge 10, charisma. 3 funds, 5 strength, 6 dex. Might be useful to get more strength. Let's get our perception up one more. Resolve combat. The only true way to investigate is to get your, into the restaurant yourself. This is pretty dope. Mr. Blank, your neighbor, is a horror manga artist. He looks so nice. Look at him. He's great. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. Share your experience. Sadly, you don't have any recent stories that would help him. At least the public won't experience the same horrors you did. Oh, I would have needed, um, exp I probably would have needed actual stuff. Oh, well. It seems that you are not the only one wanting to try it for yourself. You stand in line for hours, your questions fall on deaf ears, and you're shunned. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery, and shadows move in fantastic and uncountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. You quickly find the tombstone marked with a red string. Under the stone, you find a note someone left for you. Plus five experience. Nice. The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and is that blood? Manage threat level, turn experience into funds. Cause doom to enter funds into items. Deals eight damage to ghost type enemies, camera, technology, flash combat adds a chance to dodge the incoming attack. That could be real useful. Plus two experience for each investigated location. Absolutely grabbing that. Through the dirty restaurant window, through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady-looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous, before he enters the house. He turns around as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? Follow the weird man. Door is locked, but you think you can repeat the knocking pattern the suspicious man used. Nothing happens. Bummer. Come on, sandals. You're supposed to be perceptive. When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on a seat opposite to you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package but hesitate, and I see feelings settling into the pit of your stomach. It's not until you've unwrapped it that you understand what it is. Shocked, you let it fall to the floor from your bloodied hands. Minus your reason. He's really weak. Having these, this low, uh, having very low dexterity and stuff seems pretty dangerous. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out his throat. Check his wounds for clues. Oh, steal his gun. Yeah, that's what Sandals is doing. He won't be needing it for sure, but you still feel bad about stealing from a corpse. All right. With a slick hand, you fill a vial with soup and walk out, all without tasting the weird dish. Low reason sandal sprite. That is great. I love that. With the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Vile and meat. You look at the charts and cannot believe your eyes. While the standard test didn't detect anything weird, adding drops of human blood revealed something horrible. Whatever this thing is made of, it's alive, beating a soft pulse against the glass. Your friend leaves you with the papers, muttering an excuse and preparing to flee town on the next train. Prepared for a fight, you march down to the restaurant. However, you find no eldritch horror to duel. Instead, you're shocked to find nothing but a gap in the street. You ignore the distraught customers still lining up where they remember the entrance. Investigating the grounds, you see something glisten where the kitchen used to be. Cautiously, you look at the chunk of meat and then jump back with a yell. As it flexes, it opens a weary eye, grins, and wanders off on stubby black claws. You walk home shaken. In your head, you hear the weird ramen breathing in its bowl. You only stop to throw up on the street. Uh, 30 experience, 15 experience, uh, so 45 experience, 
Minus five doom, plus one reason, and stamina, plus one day. All right, I gotta take a nap. Friendly dog disappeared last night, but you find a new place to buy equipment. You will have to find a new place to buy equipment. Oh no, so the shop dog is gone. Small key in our mailbox. Death. Reason regained. Watch TV. We are shocked by what she did. Her voice was always so calm. Once a year, a ramen shop appears where there was once an alleyway. The ramen sold inside is made from its former patrons, but can cure any health problem. Kind of neat. Demolition of an old inner city shrine has resulted in an array of unfortunate accidents most recently. The death of six people suspected of arson. Wow. Okay, so that was pretty cool, right? I've got four bullets as well. I should probably equip the bottle. Well, yeah, I should probably equip the bottle. Save up for more for when I need to use my gun. We managed to have a pretty good doom uh, percentage here. Our, our doom economy is doing fine. So not really that worried about that. There's folklore studies. Knowledge of various rituals and regional myths. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, 69 experience. Hell yeah. Damn straight, right? Modded characters can't save progress. That's so sad. I wish there was a way I could fix that. I could do that so that I could just save and play with a modded character. It would be really fun. But alas, we can't yet. So let's just continue and see if we can get through this.